What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to run off our last time, we had yet another massive battle with the Prussian Empire. I'm just getting to the point where there's so many Prussian forces on this front that while I'm not, oh, I'm not, I'm not um, afraid, I'm, I can't hold it, but what I think I need to do is to um, open up the fronts a bit more. That's my. That's what I think I need to do. So you are, you are recruiting. Sir. We're not recruiting, but you're getting ready. Yes, sir. You're recru you, sir. Everyone's all recruiting, going to positions. What I would like to do is open up this front more. So I think this army down here that's currently garrisoning this port, I'm going to recruit a sloop. So we can sail them around and land this army to support attack operations in the uh, in the in the Greek peninsula. Because you can see there are lots and lots and lots of Ottoman forces here to stop me. And while I do have American forces in position to respond, I'd rather have some more. And I think I think well, what I think the option to do now is to take this army out of Palestine. And advance up. I have been intercepted by the Ottomans, but that's fine. Let's give them a smashing. Let's see them on the campaign map. Bugfest against the uh, the Prussians. So I think I need to open a front in the in the Greek the Greek peninsula or the Greek the Greek you know, Greek mainland, the Balkans to open that up a bit more to spread their forces out. Maybe not quite so far wide as I normally place them. I don't need four units, I need... Oh, I think I do need four. That's why my army is quite depleted. Um, Firepower that my artillery can bring to bear should be more than enough to deal with it. God, heavy horror. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot these are quick climb shot, and then. One set of crassiers on that flank, set of crassiers on those trees. General here, ready to rock and roll. And where's that unit of fusiliers? Give this unit of fusiliers to deploy stakes. Man, they can't hit with canister shot. Everyone, focus, fire their artillery. Mass artillery, concentrate on this battery, then start working on this battery. These two are two weakened units. We've lost this unit, it's lost in gun already.
Let's just get them to keep working on them. This house unit to work on them. And let's get my actual artillery back to the business of blowing apart enemy formations. No, they can't. Uh, yeah, hit them with a the round shot. The bas Bashi Bazooks. of Janissary Musketeers. You folks fire that blob. You folks fire the same blob. Shot. Folks fire that strong unit of infantry right there. Let's get my cavalry into this infantry unit. They're very exposed. They're not in position. They do look the absolute dynamite though. That's what I think of when I think of Ottoman infantry. Trying to form up, but they're not going to form up in time. Okay, now they're starting to. They've wheeled off, so keep legging it. run my horse guards back so I'm pretty sure now their only casualties are probably beats of friendly fire. These lancers are within range again as they crest over the hill. Aiming for my artillery by the looks of it. Ooh. Let's be honest they can have it at this point there's not much of it left. if they even get there.
Let's just move up the front and let all the artillery work on round shot onto the shoot of Janissary Musketeers, I suppose. And keep an eye on my cuirassiers. some deadly fire on all flanks. Hit those Kurdish hillmen. And when the reloading's done, there we go. Oh, fire. Have Adam Carassiers. speed up time a bit because now this is going to be pretty much it. That's the opening volleys of all of those round shot coming in. Artillery working on the general's bodyguard. So I'd like to chew up those Grim Musketeers, please. Okay, that's the general taken care of. All artillery. Old fire. Continue, because it's important I chew down as much of their infantry as possible, although it won't take very long. Either till they rout or whatever. These guys are seemingly going for the, uh, the the line approach, which is rather effective still for fleeing. No, actually, the scatter one is the most effective. This is a very elite unit of infantry. Three stripes. More elite than anything in my army. Smashing. Coast. And definitely reinforce. Because um, right now I've really not got much. Impossible, sir. Yeah, hold there and resupply. I am still good. I was checking, I am still making money. Good, lots of support infantry. Good. So you don't know where they are. Because they, they are currently being replenished. At the ready. Twenty-four pound howitzers. Yes, 
Lots of Sepoy units. Replenishment, replenishment, Sir. replenishment. Sir. Just need to keep Paris pumping out infantry to Philippine depleted units. So who owns and the Marathas do with a strong fleet? See, this is going to be an interesting one in the end game. But my plan is, once I conquer Europe, those twenty-five armies will come sweeping through here and landing on all of their coast at the same time. So it should be able to wrap India up fairly quickly. Sir, your orders, yes. Okay, so let's. Let's hit end turn. Let everyone get to the armies they wish to be recruited in. <laughs> you end up losing track of all the armies you're trying to recruit at any one time. Denmark's still alive because of Iceland. It'd be worth taking them out just to uh, shorten the end term sequence by, by one. Hell you! Oh god, my, no, that's quite a knackered army. Hmm. But if I sit back... Because they've only got three pounders. If I sit back and weather the storm, maybe, this army could get... No, I think I'll let them have it. Get them next turn when they try to... Uh, when they try to move... Yeah, lots of Prussian armies. So the yeah the the attack in Berlin is one that ended up being peace. Yeah, the attack on Berlin is the one that ended up being being quite good because for one of my stacks, I'm tying up probably about three or four of theirs. And then I've had the most, one of the most poignant comments in a long time. So the Ottoman AI is the true strong AI. The other the other um other factions go for your armies on the field. The Ottomans, they attack your PC. <laughs> that was absolutely brilliant. Yes, I do want you to attack me, please. Chew you up. Let's fight. If I can open up Hungary and the Austrian frontiers to the Prussians, I think then they would melt away quite quickly. I need to hold Europe, I need to all those armies that are being recruited in Britain and in... Oh, they've oh, I've tricked them into attacking me in a siege battle. Okay, let's get all you out here. So they're there, so they're on the left and on the right, okay, so... 
bit more artillery would have been good, but fire round shot for now. Hide my 24 pounders in the artillery park. Cavalry and Light Dragoons. Turn off fire, Will. You might end up being dismounted Dragoons and joining the fight. Oh, you're a bit knackered, so let's put you in the middle. No, actually, you're still probably better than these sepoy units. So put the sepoys here, covering the gates, where they've just got a firing position. You're on the wall. You're not, you're not, you're not. So then I've got my more elite corps of grenadiers and Republican Guard ready to fill any holes in the walls or any breaches. And this weak unit of line infantry. Because the main balance of effort is straight ahead, so let's... That's where are they aiming at. No, not telling you, it's a good idea. Um, I may as well peck back at them. Ooh, in this section of the wall. Okay. So let's get one unit of artillery there. You know what? I think I probably will retreat you out of the walls. Quick climb coming in. Artillery. Let's get my general out of the way. A year of Republican Guard up on a wall. See, while these units here can't man guns, it's always useful having just something that can shoot over the gates. If I don't have enough, I'll always do without. They've not quite loaded in properly. as we keep you outside because I forgot about you. Oh, they're probably going to die due to the Mamluks now. Let's get you away from the... Uh Oh, 
before they'd get ahead. Did they manage to uh, quick climb their own guys? They got quick climbed a load of mine, but they also quick climbed a lot of theirs, probably. Skirmishing. You're more valuable back and firing your guns down onto that waiting massive infantry. That's your value there. Particularly you guys. Or them. That works as well. God, I love these sorts of engagements. Am I having any sort of impact on their artillery? Destroy two trail teams and a gun. Yeah, my cavalry are finally routing, which is fair enough. I left I left them alone too long. Yeah, get the Republican guards stuck in there because they've starting to starting to get a good foothold on the walls. Reinforcements have arrived. Although they're going to stay right out here. Because right now they're not strong enough to take this artillery battery. Try to kill a few more that are here. Waiting to be picked off the walls. Whoa, no, 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 do not follow them. These men charging up two, two ladders, or grappling hooks. Sorry.
They are blowing holes in my line. Imagine being a you're a, a unit of the uh, the Orta, Orta Semenes, and you're like, let's attack this fortress at the same time. Goddamn Janissaries are going, nah man, I'm not going up there. I quick line those guys. Can quick climb them. Quick climb the Delhi horsemen. If I can do that and leave the guns exposed, the general can do it. These guys are going to be quite experienced. Let's get you guys off the wall. Get you into here, fire it will turn off. Here you go, General. You quick fire or quick climb. Oh, I can't quick climb those guys. Can you round shot them? Nope. Well, fire them anyway. Because this American general is going to wipe out these artillery batteries. slowly being fed infantry to kill. Chase the gunners down, I suppose. Seventeen guys. Ah, oh, they're really trying to get off the wall. general inside then I guess so are they Mamluks general's bodyguard yeah just get the general in just get this unit of reinforcements inside he's done his job he's destroyed two batteries of artillery him and his general staff
do you love that was playing the US? You get the occasional guy going, yee <laughs> Don't let the Janissaries get in. Get out of the way! Pumpkin Guard inbound! Ah. Lovely. all that's left of their forces so I'm going to speed up time a bit either till these guys route or um what is that why who's going out the door when the AI screws up massively. Hmm, just swarm them. Push them back, get away from my artillery. Stay in there for very long. I don't think it was because I lost. I didn't lose a building. I didn't lose a gatehouse by accident. No, I sent you to come back in here. So the gates close. I think it's them. They must have. Someone must have ran down here, touched my artillery. Like this guy, and then the guns, these, the wagons decided to try route. So that's where the doors are open. I guess. Well, let's go face them, because they're not going to quit until. going to quit until they get in so if the doors were shut they might have quit but they haven't so they haven't so they won't because these guys are stuck on this corner trying to get out so advance on them Bunch of men are stuck trying to leave 
There we go. Whoa, that might be a terrible idea. It is a terrible idea. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the battle here and then just let them do what they're going to do and then bring you back at the end. So thanks for watching guys, see you in a second. As you can see guys, they didn't really do anything apart from blow a hole in this wall eventually and that's the end of that. Heroic victory. I mean, unfortunately I lost a lot need to do. I just kind of thought, well, I don't know, I can maybe chase them off. But as soon as they fire that first thing of quick climb, no, bad idea. Anyway, got the whole stack reduced to one unit. Quite a big deal. Well, I say that, there's a bunch of them more right there, so not quite as much of a big deal as I would have liked. Hmm. Good, as I say, Russia better not have broken my game. After all that, for Russia to come along and be the one to ruin it, it'd be somewhat anticlimactic, and I see what you're doing, Spain. Oh no, I thought they were going to go pick up a uh, an army. Good. God, everyone's just stacking out troops. Oh no. No. Come get me, Mamelukes. Just because now we have a border. Amphibious assault! They've been planning this all along. Oh no, here comes their actual... their actual threatening force. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. I still think I send, I ultimately send this army north to threaten Ankara. Ultimately, I think. Or do I send them east? Send them east to threaten this army. Let me raid, any raid. Midge check, percussion shells, lovely. Trade agreements. Harrisburg is on. Oh, there is literally no more technologies for them to research. So Magdeburg, down you go. <laughs> the armies are ready. Tripoli's got a state house. Good, good. Got your cavalry, you've got too many light troops than I would like. I suppose it's because I don't have any room for um, regular, I don't have any room for any heavy infantry. Guns in, so let's knock off three units of infantry. Let's put you out of position as well. For your order. What? Batterarian pirates? Lennon's and Andrew Jackson and the Americans of the Battle of New Orleans, 1815, promoting the form of military supplies and artillery power. Well, hell, this sounds pretty good. I'll get you. Is 
Let's, let's get two of you, and then... Just get a bunch of line. Good, that's another army underway. So let's hop over to Europe. Yes. Group, sir. Forward. Ready for order. Immediately. Yes. Waiting further order. Forward. So why are you recruiting left? Two units of cavalry. Good, then you'll be ready to rock and roll. Well, actually, I'll just move you out. Good, you got heavy infantry. Skirmishers would be good. Doesn't like I can build any more. So just how many nine units of line infantry it is. Yes. At the ready. Same with you, I think. Yeah, you're maxed, Edinburgh's maxed. You've started to be exploited. And then are you, yep, yeah, you're all being reinforced. Good. Okay, this army. So let's get this sloop under Floric and drop you off in Sarajevo, Bosnia. Behind enemy lines. And capture the city. Good. Let's destroy the palace. Get you some walls and fortify. So make peace with Russia. So one, if I capture this, all of their armies will get catapulted away. So I don't want to upgrade roads as much as my nature wants me to. Can't recruit anything, even if I could. Would I recruit someone to go out there and hold the artillery fort? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, that's my in, I think. What's my relationship with Savoy? Hostile. Oh, yeah, because we assume we could well be at war. And I know this army means I have opened up this army to maybe coming through and pillaging lands. But, you know, got to do something. Ready. Let them carry on to wherever the hell they're Sir. going. Yes. Same with them. Aha! Forward! March! By the left! March! Amazingly me knackered heavy firsts. Drop them off to Croatia. Then deploy my armed forces. Sprint this army up to attack an empty and exposed Croatia. Mine. Bye bye, Russia. Although, there comes the. There are the Austrians, sorry, they got a brigadier. Either way, that's blown it wide open. And this army, will sw once they're reinforced, will smash east into Belgrade, reinforce in Sarajevo, put a military governor's barracks here to start spamming our line infantry. Could well have blown a hole in this region. So push forward. Fix chap school. You. Replenish and move up. You. Just get in line infantry. Fill your boots. I'm 
And then let's drop two units of militia to garrison Athens while this happens. Good, good, good. Now you have to respond everywhere, Ottomans, don't you? Do you go up to Bosnia? Do you push down into Greece? Where do you go? Excellent. Anyway, look at the time I've run over by a long, by a long, uh, long shot because I've got a bit enthusiastic in these last few bits. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.